Welcome to our channel. This is part two in a series where we are installing an outdoor solar system. This is the Pites V-Box and this is the EG4 Flex Boss. So let's start off by showing you how to wire the Pites V-Box. Let's get going. We're gonna start off at the top of the Pites box. So we're gonna take the top off, those two and a half millimeter small bolts, take those out, then we're gonna start with our positive cables. You're gonna have two shorter ones and two longer ones. And these cables will connect to the bottom batteries and the top batteries. That's why they're different lengths. Feed them down through the interior, through that protected opening, and then we'll connect them to the breakers. Each cable is gonna have a regular lug or terminal connector, and it's also gonna have this paddle connector. This paddle connector is what connects inside of the breaker. But to do that, we have to remove this back bracket. So this is a three millimeter little bolt right here, just take this off. Now we can fit that paddle connector here in the front and screw it down. This will work best if you put the two short cables on the two outside ports and the two longer cables on the two inside ports. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is connect all of our negative conductors or cables to this negative bus bar. These two large bolts right here are for our um, battery out to the inverter. And these four smaller ones right here are for the batteries themselves in the cabinet. Again, wire the two short ones to the outside and two long ones to the inside, just to keep things nice and organized and neat. This Pites box kit is nice. It comes with battery management clips. So these are sticky and we're gonna use them to keep our positive cables over to the side and out of the way of the positive bus bar. We're inside the V-Box and we're gonna organize our wires. You can see we've got the two short ones for the top and the two longer ones for the bottom, kind of paired on each side. And we've got these zip ties that are integrated into the box that will hold them over and off to the side in this channel so we can easily slide in and out our batteries on the shelves. Before we put the batteries in, I'm gonna start running the cable that connects the batteries to the inverter. I had this extra 4 aught laying around. It's not necessary to run 4 aught for these four batteries, but that's what I have, so that's what I'm gonna use. Now let's get all of these batteries in and secured. Be careful if you have a bad back like me, use proper body mechanics. Now that we have all four of our batteries in here, we wanna secure them through these holes right here with the provided bolts. Then we're going to connect our battery cables to each one of our batteries. And this will be our master battery. Okay, I've got everything wired up. Let me bring you in here to show you exactly what I did. As you can see, we have all of our battery cables installed to each battery. And we have our grounding wires. So we've come across from this one up to here. Jump to this one down to here and then link that over here to the case. Then for our communications, we come from port one on our master battery down to port zero right here, then from port one to port zero, port one, and ending on port zero on your last battery. And then on your master battery, you will plug into the RS-485 cable, thread it through the top, which isn't easy, and come and connect it here to port one. Then for your Wi-Fi, it connects right here to where the Wi-Fi dongle would go, threads down through, and we will connect it here on our master battery. Now that we have the Pites box completely wired, after that comes the fun part of drilling through the side of the house and connecting things into our sub panel, which is in our solar room. So I did want to mention communication. If you want your Pites batteries to communicate with your Flex Boss, fantastic. That will work and they work seamlessly with each other. However, if you want your other batteries to communicate with your Flex Boss, you need to connect those instead of the Pites box. And the reason for that is each battery brand has its own BMS and communications protocols. And you cannot connect two types of batteries with communication to the Flex Boss. It's either one or the other. So what I'm gonna do is connect my EG4 indoor wall mount batteries 
and I'm going to let the Pites batteries stand on their own without communication. There's no company that I know out there that will allow communication from two different brands of batteries into one inverter unit because the language is not universal. Now, some of you out there who are computer programmers and use this Raspberry Pi thing, which I have no idea about, might be able to get it to work. Now comes the nerve wracking part, which is drilling a hole through your wall. We are going to use two inch rigid conduit. We have one and a half inch flexible conduit that I'm gonna run from the bottom of this exterior box to the bottom of the flex boss. That will accommodate my battery cables coming from the indoor wall mount batteries and my AC out from the flex boss into my sub panel in my solar room. Let's start drilling. Hey, if you are interested in this beast of an inverter and these two great outdoor products, make sure you check out our link in the description below the video. There's a coupon code down there as well. Now we've got to do something with the interior and kind of extend the wires. So let me show you what I'm doing with that. Okay, we've got our hole through the wall and we've got our new conduit box. And what I needed to do was match up that hole with this punch out right here. And for that, I needed to get this hydraulic punch tool. This has instantly become a really handy item because these raceways or wireways or conduit boxes, whatever you want to call them, they usually don't come with very large punch outs. So if you need to bring something large into the box like I do with this two inch conduit that's coming through the wall, then you need something like this. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. Even on the ends, this one doesn't have large enough punch outs. All right, we've got our AC out from our 12,000 XP that comes through this conduit over to our sub panel. These wires here are too short to run from our flex boss outside through this and over here. So we're gonna run some other wire through our conduit box and back outside. Our battery cables are also not long enough to come all the way through and outside to our flex boss. So we've got some extra two aught cable here and what I'm gonna be using are these. This is a cool insulated splice connector and you just put it in the end right there and then tighten it down with that hex bolt right there. Then you can extend your wire. I'll leave a link for these in the description below the video as well. They are very handy. Okay, a couple of tips when you're using these insulated splice connectors. The wire will go pretty far inside of the connector and you want that because you want that Allen key bolt right there to really bite down on the wire. What I do is I'll take a toothpick, measure into where it stops, then I'll make that mark on my insulation on the wire and cut back to there. You may need to use some heat shrink on a wire like this two watt size because the insulation is just too big to go inside of that port right there. And before somebody says it, yes, these are for two aught to six gauge. So to protect that joint, just use the heat shrink. Let's get this box up on the wall and run our conduit through the wall. Okay, we're making good progress. Almost everything is disconnected from our 12,000 XP and our sub panel. We've got most of the conduit run, but this is the most challenging part is to get all this measured out, the holes cut correctly, things punched out correctly. That takes much longer than all of the wiring itself, to be honest. We've got our AC wires coming out. We've got line one, line two, neutral and ground. We've got our communication wire from our batteries. We've got just one of our solar lines here, the PV strings, and then I've got the battery cables also coming out. We have a few different pieces of conduit coming into different knockouts on the bottom of the flex boss just to give us space and to bring the wires in in the proper position. I need to extend the remaining PV strings from inside where it comes in and bring it back out through here, but we will do that later. I'm gonna label them as I go so I understand which string is which. Let me show you what I've done so far. I have our PV wires from two of the arrays run through. I'll run through the third later. I need one more piece to do that. But we've got two of them run through. We've got our ground here in the back. We've got our line one and line two for our load that runs through to the house. And we've got our neutral down here on the bottom. All that runs back to the sub panel and I'll show you that in a second. And then I have our positive and negative battery cables run through from our indoor wall mounts in the house. I'm going to redo the positive and negative from the Pites box and make them two aught instead of four aught. The reason I'm doing that is because the four aught, although it says it can fit, 
it's just so difficult to get in there without a ferrule. So the 2 watt will work perfectly fine for those four batteries. Let me show you something I love with this Flex Boss already. And it has been really difficult with other inverters in the past. And that is the PV input terminals. All you do is stick a screwdriver in the top, push down on it, slide your wire in and let go. That is so much nicer. And before you say it, I know these are reversed. My lines were reversed from my original array. That's why it's so important to label them. Then of course we have our communications up to our battery communications port right here. Okay, coming in from outside, we've got all of our wires. I did add a third string of PV and yes, I know I need to put this in conduit, but I did run out. So that's what happens sometimes. I also did run out of my inch and a half conduit connector. So I have a conduit nipple in here temporarily just to protect the wires. All of our AC wires come up into our sub panel here. We've got our white neutral coming in the neutral bar, the grounds to the ground, and our line one and line two. Then I also use these insulated connectors to extend my PV lines. And everything is tucked into this box nicely. Just a quick side note and a heads up. These are the CT connectors that come with the Flex Boss. I'm not installing these because I do not need to measure the power coming in and out of the grid. And that's what these are for if you set it up as a hybrid inverter. My system is completely off grid. We've turned our batteries on. Now let's see if we got power to the Flex Boss. Okay, let's kick on our battery here and let's see what happens. We've got power. And now we need to set up our Wi-Fi. Well, there you go, friends. That's how to wire a Pites box and your Flex Boss to get your system up and running. You can see in the background here, I do have a warning light and I need to get that Wi-Fi set up so that I can get in and change the settings and modify them for my system. That is one small hurdle that you need to get over with the Flex Boss if you didn't purchase the screen and we didn't. That's one way that EG4 kept the cost down on this comparative to other things. The screen is $100 and I think I'm going to spend the money on it. I'm not going to show the Wi-Fi setup in this video because it will just be too long. So I'm going to do another video before I set up the new Integra rack and run that PV string into here. So make sure you look out for parts three and four in this series. As I said earlier, if you're interested in these two great products, I have a link in the description below along with a coupon code. And for the month of April 2025, my coupon code is doubled. So make sure you pay attention to the details in the description below the video. If you have any questions for me about this, please leave them for me in the comment section below the video. Now have a beautiful blessed day and we will see you on the next video in this series. Take care.